Only on six tonight, how a dog specially trained for detecting electronics is getting results together for children who are being sexually abused. The canine, together with his handler, are putting the heinous offenders in prison more often and for longer. So how is all of this possible? New Six's Eric Van Inken introduces us to Baxter. We watched as Baxter pulled out cell phones and memory cards and hard drives. Good boy, show me. Good boy. From a pile of mulch outside and all kinds of crevices and corners inside. Good boy. I would imagine some people are going to watch this and say, come on, a dog that sniffs electronics? Right. I was one of them at one point. <laughs> Kissimmee canine officer Georgie Torres, who's also a state cyber crimes task force agent, tells me Baxter oh, oh, see, see. was trained by the same handler who trained the canine dog in the Jared Fogel case. Remember, Fogel was the former Subway sandwich shop spokesman who was convicted of trading child pornography. Agent Torres says the dog helped find the electronic devices that contained the child porn in Indiana in 2015, See. like Baxter does now in Central Florida. The trainer discovered a dog can learn to sniff out electronics just as well as drugs or cadavers. In child abuse cases or child molestation cases, often suspects have tried to hide the electronic evidence, Agent Torres says. So if that evidence had ever been found, it probably would have made the case stronger and maybe put someone away or put someone away for longer. Very possible. So last year, as soon as Torres learned that dogs like Baxter even exist that can sniff out case-building evidence, unbiased and impartial every time, he got permission from the chief <laughs> and the Kissimmee PD became one of the first in the state to get the dog. And as a state agent, Torres has used Baxter in some 50 searches already across Florida, finding evidence of abuse on hidden electronics in at least a third of those searches that they would not have found without Baxter. And he indicated on a box, and uh, when we opened up that box, there was an external hard drive in there that, that contained evidence that ultimately led to that subject's arrest. What was on that hard drive? Uh, the child pornography. Child was, pornography. Uh, videos, yes. It would have taken you days to search all those boxes. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. And Agent Torres told me about another case where they let Baxter loose inside a house and right away he alerted in the garage on a car in the garage. As soon as they let him into that car, he found this, a tiny SD card that it turns out had child pornography on it. Agent Torres says they never would have found it otherwise. In Kissimmee, Eric Von Anken getting results together. New six.